Tony, I choose today to be your wife. I vow to support, protect, and love you. Knowing that love is a choice, I choose to love you every day. Today I love you for your sense of humor, intelligence, your generous heart, and your ability to make any situation an adventure. Casey, I choose today to be your husband. I vow to be your supporter, protector, and best friend as we walk through this life together. In recent years, a noticeable trend has emerged within the realm of interracial relationships. White women travel into Africa in search of romantic connections with African men. This phenomenon has stirred curiosity, intrigue, and sometimes controversy, prompting questions about the motivations behind such encounters and the dynamics at play. In this video, we delve into the complexities of why some white women embark on this journey and the broader societal implications of such relationships. This is Afterworld. Thanks for watching. 1. Cultural Fascination and Exotism Africa, with its diverse cultures, traditions, and landscapes, holds an allure that captivates the imagination of many Westerners. For some of these women, the prospect of engaging with African men offers an opportunity to explore a different cultural perspective and experience something outside the norms of their own societies. 2. Escape from social norms and expectations In Western societies, white women may encounter societal expectations and norms regarding age, gender, and relationships. These expectations can be restrictive and limited particularly for women who seek companionship and fulfillment beyond conventional boundaries. By engaging with African men, some white women may find a sense of liberation from societal constraints, embracing relationships that defy traditional norms and expectations. 3. Perceptions of Exotism and Virility The perceptions of African men as exotic, virile, and sexually potent figures plays a significant role in attracting white women to seek romantic connections. Why, why are you into black men? Now? What, 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 tell me why. Um, I don't know. I think they have like charisma. And uh, once you go black, you never go back. <laughs> 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 okay. Stereotypes and tropes perpetuated in popular culture and media often portray African men as hypermasculine and sexually desirable. 4. Search for connection and companionship At the heart of many intercultural relationships lies a genuine desire for connection, companionship and mutual understanding. Some older or young white women may find in African men qualities that resonate with their own values, aspirations and life experiences. These relationships transcend cultural and racial boundaries, rooted in shared interests, emotional intimacy, and genuine affection. 5. Economic Dynamics and Power Imbalances It is essential to acknowledge the economic dynamics and power imbalances that underlie some of these relationships. In many cases, other white women may possess financial resources and social capital that provide them with a degree of privilege and influence in the interactions with African men. This power differential can impact the dynamics of the relationship and raise questions about the authenticity and mutual consent and agency. 6. Navigating Stereotypes and Prejudices Interracial relationships, particularly those involving older white women and African men, often face scrutiny stereotypes and prejudices from both within and outside their respective communities. Stereotypes of older white women as or sugar mamas seeking exotic adventures clash with assumptions about African men as opportunistic or seeking financial gain. Navigating these stereotypes require open communication, mutual respect and willingness to challenge preconceived notions. The phenomenon of young or older white women seeking African men in Africa as a complex and multifaceted one, shaped by cultural, social, and economic dynamics. While these relationships may be driven by genuine connections and mutual respect,
they also raise questions about power imbalances, stereotypes, and societal expectations. As we strive to understand the motivations behind these relationships, it is essential to approach them with empathy, nuance, and a recognition of diversity of human experiences. By fostering dialogue, challenging stereotypes, and promoting understanding, we can create a more inclusive and equitable society where love knows no boundaries of race, age, or cultural background. If you found this video useful or interesting, remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more. Until the next time, remember to stay safe and curious and let love lead.